Um, so next we have Sandra. You're going to need this. <laughs> Um, Sandra um, talking um, about mapathons uh, for mental health and her experience with the Philippines um, Department of um, Social Welfare. Um, so yeah, please give her a warm welcome. Uh, hi, good morning. Um, I'm Andy and I want to share with you how we use OpenStreetMap for crowd mapping for mental health awareness. So um, the mental health st statistics in the Philippines is still problematic and um, given the recent approval of the mental health law last June 20, 2018, um, we, are, we have still a long way to go to improve it. But for example, on seeking help, uh, on these surveys made last 2004 and 2011, only 3% and 22% of Filipino immigrants, Americans, Filipino Americans, and Filipino college students said they uh, sought help for their professional uh, for professional help for their mental health through their lifetime. That's a very low number for seeking professional help. So um, that's because of the stigma and the discrimination on people with mental health problems, which is still um, very evident in the Philippines. So um, people are ashamed or afraid to let other people know that they might be experiencing mental health problems, let alone uh, seek help or ask for information on how to seek help. So with the project, we wanted to, with the mental health awareness project, we wanted to show where the nearest help is. So if, for example, I think I, I may be experiencing mental health problems, I can look for information myself on where to seek or, uh, or to, to where to consult a so, uh, professional for my mental health without let, letting anyone know until I'm ready to do so. So what we did here is, uh, yeah, um, the goal here is for anyone, even, with, even people without uh, mapping experience or zero mapping knowledge, anywhere with, with their smartphones, with their computers at home, can view the map and also contribute um, uh, anywhere with internet access. <laughs> Sorry. So what we did is we co we collected the data first of the mental health services and facilities in the Philippines and added these information that one might need if they want to consult a doctor for their mental health. So this information and then on the website, anyone can just click uh, to start editing and then add the information based on their local knowledge and then they could add all the details here and then add it to the map. Or if, for example, I'm currently at a clinic and I want to add this clinic to the map, I could just locate, uh, click on uh, a point here and then locate my current location and then add the details even if it's not on the list. And if I, I don't want to add data, but I want to view where I need, where I could consult. So I could just click on the pins in the map, and then the details would be shown here. And also, aside from the mapping platform on the website, we also do the mapathons. So in these mapathons, we teach uh, about OpenStreetMap, and we also use MapContrib. So we, we, we added the preset. Um, tags on adding a node, so that's healthcare, psycho psychotherapy, and indoor. And then they, they could just add all the other information here. Um, our first mapathon was held last May, and it was in partnership with the University of the Philippines, and these are the map points based off from the participants. Yes, yeah, so from these previous maps that only I was mapping, it, it's now this one, which is more um, collaborative and more interactive with other people. We also have other mental health maps. Um, this one, it's, mapping, it's called Mapping Emotions. It's, uh, it encourages people to share their mental health stories, to, uh, to show that mental health occupies space, it's real, and other people are, are also experiencing it and to tell other people that they're not alone and to, give, to also give them hope. And this other one, it's called Here, Here. So it's for anyone who wants to, 
who, who want, who's open to talking to anyone who's experiencing mental health problems. So if they could add their details here, most of the people add just in their Instagram accounts or Twitter accounts. So if I, I want to talk, I need someone to talk to, I can just look at where, who's, some, who's near me and who I think he or she understands so I could talk to her or I could contact her. So yeah, thanks. Um, if you want to help the project or help improve the platform, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.